It's time for Okay, right off the bat, we have some problems. Yeah, he likes to be called the Ice Cream Rabbit. Yeah. Kids, in quotes. Not actual kids, but small, shrill, audio animatronic figures. Santa's original toy shop got foreclosed on, so now he works out of his mom's basement. Rumbelina insert? That is filthy. Whoa. Elves love playing with decapitated, trademark infringing dog heads. <laughs> hey, elves, less pawing of toys, more building of toys, okay? When Girl Scouts join the clan. Out the door there! A nature film knocked on their door? <laughs> Crap, it's July. We missed Christmas. He usually grazes with them. Least convincing tra la 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 of all time. It's great that they had a song ready for that exact occasion. Lucky. I think they have Santa Stockholm Syndrome. There's a very good reason for Santa not being there. Tell us, Truman Capote. As Will or tell you. Santa to be in his sled, stuck in the sand thousands of miles from the North Pole. Way down in Florida. Yeah, I've had some Valium. Without his reindeer. Because they were so hot, they took off to the North Pole. I've been conned. There's no luxury timeshare here. Especially the long beard and the red velvet suit and the white fur. Which covered his entire body. A lot of heavy clothing. <laughs> To be worn on a beach in Florida. Can I get a damned word in, please? <laughs> mighty uncomfortable. Because the sun in Florida. Yeah, I think we get it now. Hot, okay? A lot hotter than any sun. Got it, it's hot. At the yep. North Pole. Yes, there it is. The sun, which is hot. The hot sun, because this is Florida. Let's move on. Seconded. What would he do? It's hot. What a predicament. Well, first thing, Santa always has to be presentable. Santa was often so presenting, it seems. thinking cap. I wonder what he came up with. Well, if you'd let the movie start, we might find out, lady. First, how the hell do I get out of this sleigh? Wow. Oh, woe is me. Woe is him? Woe Maybe a clue that Santa is actually Joey Lawrence. Woe! Santa free, who will give me a helping hand and get my sleigh out of the sand? Santa, not a member of AAA. Or AA, it seems, by his drunken warbling. It was just too hot for them, I fear. My predicament lacks its usual cheer. So usually his predicaments are filled with cheer. They stopped leaving day-old bread behind the supermarket for me. What a cheerful predicament. Who will help me? Who will set me free? Sting will, if he loves you. If not, you're his prisoner for life. Yep. They would be here. One, two, three. So, here I sit. Okay, girls jumping rope. Sure, makes as much sense as anything else right about now. Coming next, images of an ant colony, then the Eiffel Tower, then a bowl of SpaghettiOs. For someone to get my sleigh. Okay, last time I'm doing this, then you buy me a damned hoop. Guys? Yes? Did, did we take powerful hallucinogenic drugs before, by any chance? I don't remember doing so, but the evidence compels me to say... 
Yes. Oh, yes, we did. <laughs> set old Santa free. The winner of this fight to the death, Will Santa. A helping hand and get my sleigh out of the sand. Hey, hey Timmy, I could you grab my balls like 100% less? Thanks. It was just too hot for them, I fear. All right, all right, all right. Huh? It's usual cheer, because Christmas Day will soon be here. So I have frozen many children mid-action with my dark Santa magic. That will teach the world. Who will set me free? Who will teach me to conduct music with some tiny relation to its actual rhythm? Nobody answered my damn musical question. And Santa sleeps the sleep of the sweaty. Scotty! I'm a lesser baseball-related demon, but I'd still like your soul! Bobby! Huh? Rant a redre. He's wrapped in the rand. <laughs> Oh, I just shattered my leg, Santa. I can't help you. Girls? Non-specific girls? Bye. I can't lend you any more money, Santa. Kathy. Come in, Santa. Please don't interrupt our violent homoerotic play, Santa. Huh. Guess Santa got distracted just watching this. David! Charlie! Yes, evil master! Coming, sir. Kid! Kid who doesn't get the dignity of a name! <laughs> Must escape horrible kazoo band! Yes, Angelian, you're the new Mrs. Claus. Come here. Oh, you can run, kids, but Santa is in your mind and will do you no good. No good! Santa owns your soul! <laughs> kids come running for the great taste of Santa. Kids, you forgot your torches and pitchforks. If you're going to run Santa out of town, you need to come armed. Ranch, ranch, break your rhyme. Ranch is not rolling anywhere. Okay, we get it. Dogs talk with R sounds at the beginning of each word. Fine. Rhyme. Tom Seaver and Huckleberry Hound. Close. Oh, hot, 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 sad, hot, hot, oh, hot, hot, deep. Hey, Hump, where are all those kids going? I don't know, Tom. Let's go find out. All right, let's go. And let's call our friends the Great Gatsby, Anna Karenina, and Yasarian to help us. Kazoo music, the real reason Paul Robeson left America. Yep, Tom Sawyer, known for his sleeveless Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> Buck, dinner's getting away. Whack it with an oar. Oh, God, my eyes! Eight more times! Ice cream, Bonnie, that ice cream, Bonnie. He's made of ice cream and he's a Bonnie. Very nice. Say that raccoon's predicament lacks its usual cheer. Yes. You just had a nightmare where mall Santas were required to get criminal background checks. Mm -hmm. a, a Robert Altman film is approaching. <laughs> Aw, oh, girls, glad you made it. Hey, and kid! What are you doing here? Wait, who said that? The dog? Hundreds of years, and I got stuck. My sleigh came right down here in the sand. Kerplunk, we hit hard. Are you hurt, Dana? 
Oh, 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 no, I guess just my feelings. And I oh, 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 shattered a testicle. They oh, tried oh. so hard to get me out of the sand, but they just couldn't do it. And then it simply got too hot for them. So off they went to the North Pole without. Why don't I sing you a Why song you about it? No, no, no not please, necessary, sir. please. Well, you know, this is the time of the year when we make our free Christmas trip around the world. And we find out who's been good and who's been bad. Or in this case, who's been ugly. Oh, you see, Anna? How will you ever deliver the gift? And what will happen to Christmas without you? Well, now you know that old Santa has never let you down before, and Santa isn't going to let you down now. That would but prove must, quite must, untrue. You must keep faith. You must believe. Hey, Santa, why don't you take one of those planes that's circling around up there? That might be a good idea, except what would I do with my sleigh? The embarrassed boy hung himself that evening. Hey, Hawk, could that be Santa Claus? Hey, it is Santa Claus, Tom. But what do you suppose he's doing here? What do you suppose you're doing know. here? Well, he looks like he's stuck <laughs> in the sand. He is stuck. Hey, do you think if we stick around a while, we'll find out what happens? Yeah. Huck, Huck, close your mouth, Huck. Huck, damn it, Huck, close your mouth. Hey, you guys seen the rest of my shirt? I, I think the dog ate it. Hey, let's shave off his beard and make him eat it. Yeah. What's that? Someone say beer? Mm, no, no, no. Could have sworn. Whoa! It's like the crowd outside a Home Depot when the INS van pulls up. Oh, and kids, look both ways before you cross the street. Oh, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. There's blood everywhere. Ah, <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh, dear. I speak from personal experience. There's no way a stretch like that isn't followed by his pants coming off. Ugh, we dodged him. Right. golly, I have never been so. Sweat really pooling up around my two turtle doves, if you know what I mean. I got it. I've got to try to get out. All those little boys and girls all over the world waiting for their present. And tilt down to the sand and hold it for several seconds. Yes. Yes, brilliant! We interrupt a static shot of sand to bring you the tide coming in. And then back out again, and once again, in several lunar cycles. Yeah, I hear you, Santa. The hell? Is Pee Wee Herman watching a movie somewhere? A childhood ended this day, ladies and gentlemen. Inside that gorilla suit, Sir Lawrence Olivier. So versatile. Why do I get the feeling the psychiatrist heard all about this decades later? Nice caboose. <laughs> Keep in mind, this was plan A. Wow. Well, at least the mule suit is more realistic than the gorilla suit. Well, we'll try that too. I guess we're just about ready to try everything. Everything that doesn't involve me helping, that is. And then oh, oh, back oh. him in. Back him in. And we'll see what happens. Take him around the front. That's it. Just around the front of the sleigh and then back him in and let's see if he'll take off. So Santa's been stuck here for several days, right? Right. Where does he drop his presents off if you get my drift? Oh yeah. my goodness. That's it. Back him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Oh, he won't budge. Who knew oh, the mules could be so stubborn? No, I guess not. It just simply isn't going to work. You children disgust oh, me. Welcome boy. to the naughty list. He's just hoping his classmates at Juilliard never find out about this role. Nice of him to try, but I don't see how Tom Arnold is going to help the situation. <laughs> 
sounds like an Imperial TIE fighter. <laughs> There's some local guy with a livestock and gorilla suit emporium who can't believe his luck today. Ka-ching. Jeez, there have been kids making Nike shoes that were in less danger than these children. Let me try to help you, child. Let me see what we can do. All right. Dear I'll God, you can start by getting your Santa pants dry cleaned. I guess that answers your earlier question, Mike. In a horrible, horrible way. That's the idea. Hold Guys, if you close your eyes during these scenes, they take on a whole new context. Give it a try. Come on. Oh, that's full hearted. Ah. You're right. I, we, well, he's in the wrong way. Oh, my. Get him out again. Oh, oh, you're a bad man, Mike. I'm going to open my eyes. Harder. I'm still seeing it. Oh, oh. oh no. It just simply isn't going to work. Hmm, I really figured oh, one ordinary oh. sheep would have been a perfect substitute for eight oh. magical reindeer. Take him out. I'm sorry, dear. You'll just have to take him away. No, I guess not. Nothing is going to work. Nothing. He guesses not nothing is going to work? Nothing? I know assume not try to can't find out so much. Go oh, oh, there no, it is please. again! Ah. No. You know, I bet Martin Scorsese is always saying things like, Wait for the girl and her sheep to clear the shot, Santa. Oh, what new horror awaits us beyond that dune? I'm guessing an infant and a pack of rabid jackals. This kid was just on his way to trade it for some magic beans. What's that? Oh, boy with his cow. Shall we barter it for passage home? Nourish ourselves with its milk? Let's try it. Or push it into the damn sleigh, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I will try oh, Dang, there goes my heart. Well, it was bound to happen. Oh. No, that is not going to work. We'll just have to slaughter your cow. Just so Good try, Bessie, good try. Oh, and thanks for plopping on my foot. Well, here comes a little boy and his horse. Please, how about a practical uh, animal, like a vicuna? Maybe a one-legged emu. I just don't know what will. Oh, he's a nice little boy. That's fine looking at him. Ooh, pray he's talking about the horse. Well, son, <laughs> what do you think? Shall we give it a try? I'll try if you're willing. Hello? You think you can back him in? Oh, great. The kid's a mute. Right, go ahead. Come on. Come on, big fella. Kid suddenly panicked and forgot how a horse works. When in the Fort Myers area, be sure to visit Farm Animal Beach. <laughs> Very clean. Come on, bring him in. Kid, you left the parking brake on. Well, now, let me get out and let me see if I can help. Really, Santa? Don't uh, break a friggin' nail or anything. This doesn't work. I guess nothing will. There's not right. another single thing in the universe that can budge my sleigh. No, sir. Boys. Push harder. Come on. Hey, Santa, I've got an idea. Go to the back of the horse and yank his tail. Oh, yeah, and slap his backside really hard a few Let's times. Not give up. Let's not give up. Let's try to get him in. Oh, oh yeah, there's my hernia popping that, right there. Oh, boy, that is, that's some real get. pain. <laughs> oh, he just simply won't move. The lesson here, animals oh. hate Santa Claus. Can you blame him? No, that? no, no. Good try, old boy. Try hell. The sheep did a better job. Nothing is going to work, Santa Claus. Well, back to what I do best, sitting here in my oh. filthy pants. Now, what do we do? Call your mom? What do we do? Walk the three blocks into town? Oh, I know. Sing another oh. song. No, don't Shh. encourage him. Nothing is working. Nothing. Including Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Why... Golly, it is I have never been so hot in my life. Two days later, the raisiny, fly-specked corpse of Santa would be found by a group of boogie boarders. My golly, I've got to try to get out. But first, I'll all scrounge for cigarette butts. All over the world waiting for their presents. Oh, I've got to get out of here. 
If the damn PC media hadn't made me fire Black Pete, I wouldn't be in this fix. Oh, I can't disappoint all those lovely children all over the world. But probably not Africa oh, or North Korea. Try. Got to try. Well, that's enough trying. Oh, dear. Oh, I guess that isn't going to work either, and it is so hot. So hot. Guess I better strip down to my oh, speedo. Oh, look at that sun. Glaring down. Poor sun. Lady, can we go home now? So discouraged. Yeah, she's trying to set him on fire with her mind. In fairness, aren't we all? But Santa is equal to any emergency, and he'll think of something. You said we'd get residuals! Wonder what it will be this time. Now, everybody gather in a little closer. Come on, that's fine. But you smell like bologna and malt liquor. Prove that if you have faith, then all your dreams will come true. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful little girl named Thumbelina who escaped from her kidnapping. And this helps you get your sled out all How? kinds of hardships until one fine day she met her Prince Charming. As luck would have it, he was he thumbless. Hope, and like Thumbelina, young Tom you Petty is captivated. Must never give up hope. You must believe. You must always believe. This is Wookiee Life Day propaganda, isn't it? I think so. And believe, and all your dreams will come true. Now, frankly, I don't want all my dreams to come true. Half of them involve me in my underwear. If I were Ladies and gentlemen, Tiny Tim. This world would be so different, but I would not. Okay, quick question. Does anything in this scene have anything to do with anything else in the known universe? Unlikely. No. Oh, sounds like Taylor Swift without auto-tune. And so plucky little Thumbelina subjected herself to severe burns on the backs of her thighs. If I were Thumbelina... This is exactly how Hans Christian Andersen envisioned the story. Really? With a rocket man? Exactly how he envisioned it. Someone's vivisecting a dog. Oh, that's just the singer. Ah, back when amusement parks didn't have to fuss over safety. If I were oh, this? Polina, this world would be She's not gonna shut up, is she? No, I fear the rest of the movie is an extended house mix of this very song. Can't believe I'm saying this. I miss Santa. <laughs> We're dead, aren't we, guys? Yeah. We're dead and in hell. Mm -hmm. Something happened in the studio, an explosion or some carbon monoxide, and now we're roasting in eternal torment. The only rational explanation. Yep, and even Satan is thinking, you know, maybe this time I went too far. Ah, and there go the tympanic membranes. Yep, bleeding out both ears. Hey, Mike, could you hand me a Kleenex? Well, the good news is that means we're probably not dead. You think that's good news? Good point. It's a colorblindness test, isn't it? Pirate's world. Not possessive, just the world of more than one pirate. We interrupt your movie to bring you a movie. <laughs> Shay Garner, here seen in her last known photo. <laughs> and looking always like she's been lured to wherever she is. Also starring surprised Italian grandma. <laughs> and featuring the Sid and Marty Croft rejected puppet theater company. Remember, Santa is telling this story to the kids on the beach. And then children executive producer Armand Sarami hired Barry Mann to direct. Isn't that wonderful? Welcome to the fairyland of Hans Christian Andersen. And what a beautiful, enchanting fairyland it is. Oh, yes. Look, enchanting! Because this little girl, who 
was only two inches tall, lived with me for a while. That voice. And I think hey, Disembodio, is that your mom? Well no, that's my great aunt Verna Bodio. She lived in Coconut table. Grove and did bus station announcements. Give you an Forgot she was a movie star, actually. She visited during her adventures. Thumbelina's mother was really an aging spinster <laughs> who was unable to have children of her own. Aww. She wanted ever so badly to have someone to love and to care for, so she finally decided to do something about it. Yes, she pumped gasoline into a can and used it to burn down the houses of her many ex-lovers. Good plan. Just heat this up on my chest of drawers. <laughs> ah, time for my morning wild turkey. Oh. <sighs> Day after day, I put the kettle on, and no one comes to call. I'm getting so tired of being lonesome. And tea kettles are my only form of communication. I know. This afternoon, I'll go see the witch. And maybe she will bring me a little girl. Child slavery, just what this film needs. I didn't leave much in witches and sorcerers. But after seeing Thumbelina... Again, Santa is telling this story. And then the grungy P.A. box narrated the story of Thumbelina to the girl at Pirate's World who imagined it in her mind looking something like this. Oh, it's hot. Who has a washcloth for Santa? This witch had many secret ingredients with which she worked her magic. It must have frightened the prospective mother. Frightened? She's just asking for a baby from a silent witch who seems to live in hell. What's frightening about that? <laughs> My sex ed class must have skipped the satanic options for baby making. I feel so cheated. Lousy public schools. And so the PA described how the witch continued to mince about for a while, not speaking, just fiddling mostly. Ho, 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 ho. Thank you, Santa. Left knee, right turn, and an ugly toe into a prince real quick. On second thought, let's stick and with the uncomfortable silence. That was just fine. To an fine. even better trick. Sow a little seed, grow a little princess, twelve Hang on, didn't Catherine O'Hara do the song in Waiting for Guffman? Come a little seed, comes a little princess, that's what magic can do. What can magic do as far as improving songwriting or, or singing ability? Anything? Anything at all? So don't you fret, I'll help you yet before this day is done. Yeah, that so poor chipmunk. Seed, grow a little princess. Twelve new pennies make your wish come true. From a little seed comes a little princess. That little princess is her brand of hydroponic weed. <laughs> okay, good. We've come to the end of your song. Now, can we talk business? <sighs> Felt like the end of the song anyway. Don't know why we're still plucking along. Hey, hey, that's close enough. There's got to be a less revolting way to get a daughter. I wonder if that hair lip guy with the three legged dog still hangs out down at Flanagan's all the time. He always seemed to like me. This is actually raw documentary footage of how the cheese sauce for Arby's beef and cheddars is made. Starting to long for the tight brevity of an Emerson, Lake, and Palmer synthesizer solo. Duck into a swan, sure. She and Dr. Moreau attended the same Crimes Against God certificate program. Oh, a little seed, grow a little princess, twelve new pennies make your wish come true. Um, FYI, my wish has changed. Now I only wish for the sweet, silent embrace of the hereafter. Oops. You say you would like a little girl. Yes, you've been singing about it for 20 minutes. I thought this was clear. You have a child. Children need the guidance of someone much younger. Oh, please. I didn't want to be a spinster by my own choosing. And what's left of my womb no, no, dried yes. up while I waited for you to stop singing please and talk to me. 
I would be good to her, and I would raise her to be a beautiful young lady. Beautiful. And give her all the advantages that I never had. But that's a long list. Are you sure you want a little girl? Oh, yes. All my heart, I would like a beautiful young blonde hit. Yeah, easy there, Mein Kampf. You seem to be Let's very not get so genetically clear. specific. Do you know what this will cost you? Oh, no. But anything at all, as long as you fulfill my wish. And you accept Discover Cod. It will cost you 12 pennies. 12 pennies for a human life? I, I brought the deed to my house just for the uh, down payment. You must promise to treat her very well. Because someday this little girl will be a princess. Oh, I promise. I will even treat her like a queen. A 12 penny queen. Worth less than half the price of some SpongeBob stickers from the machine outside Walmart. Uh, hey, witch, I got nothing but hundreds in my purse. You mind if I step out to my car? I think there's 12 pennies stuck to some gunk under the floor mats. I've been meaning to throw them away. Wow, it sure is mesmerizing seeing all this dark sorcery unfold on screen. Watch and learn, Harry Potter. Now then, take this seed. Wait, it's just a seed? You couldn't have handed this to me half an hour ago? Farmer's field and fed to his chicken. This has a special magic. Yeah, it's soaked in schnapps. Plant it. Feed it with loving care, and you will have your child. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Here are your 12 pennies. Don't spend them all and in I one shall place. Forever Seriously, you. don't. The cashier would be furious. Remember, treat her well. Because someday she will be a princess. If not, I'd say abuse the hell out of her. The mother was actually skeptical about the magic of the seed. Actually skeptical, you say? I can't see why. So she went directly home, hopeful that the power of the witch would be successful. There, little seed. Now I'll start channeling my failed hopes into pressure for you. I didn't make varsity cheer, so you damn well better, my darling seed. It's still early. I think I'll plant it now. The realization that it's still early scene, ladies and gentlemen. Goodness. Bravo. Bravo. Hang on. This is just a cinnamon tic-tac. I overpaid big time. Yeah, actually still a fairly reasonable price. Dum -de dum dum got a seed that contains all the ingredients of life, body, mind, and soul. I'll just plant it here. Hmm. I hope the rats don't get to it like they did my tomatoes. Oh well, dum -de dum 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 She planted it tenderly, watered it, and sure enough, like magic, it started to grow. No uh -huh. other flower had grown so fast from a small bud to a full-grown flower in a matter of seconds. Ah, I regret this immediately. Be gone, Hellflower! The seeds were definitely magic. Funny, I was born wearing the and same the outfit. flower opened, and there was a tiny little girl. I asked for a blonde. Mother Squish! Leave her eyes. The child was not exactly what she expected in size, but certainly everything else was perfect. Yeah, still, the size issue was pretty hard to ignore. This is a beautiful house. I'm going to be very happy here. Oh, what do you know about houses or happiness? You were just oh, created! Boo! Boo! Stop pretending to have knowledge of the world, noob! You suck! You suck! I never thought I would have a little girl as small as you. Where are you going to sleep? And honestly, dear, isn't it about time you got a place of your own? It's getting pathetic is all. I'm not running a charity here. This will do just fine. That will make a wonderful bed. It's nice to have a mother that loves me so. And you know, I'm going to love you too. I am the great and oh, powerful so Oz! Bad. I've been a lonesome woman all my life. And now, you and I are going to have fun together. I will put my titanic face an inch from you and it'll be fun. <laughs> Terrifying. Do you think I could have something to eat? I'm very hungry. Hey, I'm not talking to you, Tinny Speaker. And loved her mother. Although she spent all her time mm -hmm, sure, at the table. Sure, I can top, see that. 
the oh, yeah. little girl was completely happy. Her bed was a walnut shell. Her playthings were the kitchen utensils. Her life was perfect. A oh, walnut shell being the same size as a coffee cup didn't disturb her in the least. Her joy was now complete. Until her walnut allergy kicked in and her hands swelled up like balloons. Way. Treat her well, for she may be a princess. Boy, this Sorcerer display gets better said, the longer you stare at it. Thumbelina's <laughs> mother intended to do just that. Oh, there goes my soul. New life oh, it's back. was to be threatened by a frog whose mother was searching Oi. for a wife Oi. for her son. Of course. I mean, what mother wouldn't want that? Or to put it another way... Ah! All this time I've been doing nothing but sitting by the pad going ribbit, ribbit. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? When I get bored, I go, chuggle run, chuggle run. What I need is a little girl. Gah! The Woody Allen of frogs! That's what I need, all right. Run my ass. Wonder where my mother is. Man, that is one messed up amphibian. When Thumbelina's poor mother found that her little girl had disappeared, she was very sad. So sad, in fact, that she went back to the witch with a wad of cash and said, Cook me up a good one this time, toots. I've brought you a wife, my son. Isn't she beautiful? Okay, how did the frog kidnap her? Knife to the throat? Tie her up with duct tape? That kind of thing? Don't make so much noise or she will wake up. While I am fixing up your house where you will live together, I put her on that lily pad so she can't escape. Oh, oh, she just got eaten by a bluegill. Ah, oh, I'm off to get you another wife. Thumbelina, where are you? And where'd you put my microphone? Oh, Thumbelina. I'd call the cops, but with my record, they'd never believe me. Go The little girl's plight was desperate. Desperate? Till a fish felt sorry for her and chewed the roots of the lily pad loose so that it would float downstream. Not pictured. Away from her captors. (laughs) Ah, well. Guys, if you don't mind, I've got this one. Ah, I appreciate it. Great, thanks. I'll go that way. I'll stay around here. And if any of us figures out what the hell we are, just open your hideous black mouth parts and let out a blood-curdling shriek. Thanks. Well, whatever it is, I'm certain there are literally dozens of forums dedicated to writing fanfic about them. Rule 34. Thank you. That was a great scene. Again, Santa is telling the story to the kids. And then this weird-looking striped mascot thing hopped around a paper mache mushroom. <laughs> Santa, why are you telling us this? I Just lie. listen. What a funny-looking bug you are! I am not a bug. I am a person. I'm a little girl. My name is Thumbelina. That cannot be true. Human beings are large creatures. So she engages with the thing? We are. Rather than, than finding a good sharp kind of stick and, and stabbing it again and again, long past the time it stops she moving? She is a human being, but I think she is lying. She is some kind of a bug. Though, to be honest, I can she barely breathe like in this suit, being. let alone see. They're so terribly ugly. But she's so small. I think she is terrible looking and makes me feel creepy. Why don't we mash her, or squeeze her, or pinch her, or do something? You know, just so long as it involves her horrible death. Filled with many scary things. Uh, ma'am, other people are trying to look at that diorama, too. The little girl kept her courage up. It took many days to get used to her new life. She ate berries and nuts, and eventually learned to look after herself very well. Soon she was killing small rodents and eating their livers for protein. When her clothes became tattered, she chased the wolves away from the corpse of a half-eaten moose, skinned it, and made a crude cloak. She missed her home and the security of the tabletop, but was very happy to have escaped the marriage to a frog. She killed and roasted a and small I fawn in celebration. It become almost fun, except that summer didn't last forever. The 
the falling of the leaves, came the cold winter winds, and finally the first snowfall. Said the female voice over the loudspeaker to the girl who sat staring at the Thumbelina display. Oh, Santa, oh, where oh. the clumsy framing device? Why? Oh, oh, oh. Can you even imagine what kind of toxic carcinogen they're dumping on her head there and calling it snow? Thumbelina tried to protect herself as best she could, but finally decided that she must search for a place to live underground like the other animals and I had done. Wait, 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 wait. wait. The lady talking on the loudspeaker is a ground-dwelling animal of some sort? Santa, what the hell's going on here? Enough questions. Guy in the gorilla suit, shut that kid up, will ya? And it was then Thumbelina stumbled upon the frozen body of Yukon Cornelius, just inches from the largest gold deposit ever discovered. Time to make some walnut pants, I guess. <laughs> The little girl hesitated to bother us, but was so cold that she finally gained enough courage to knock on my door. And leave a flaming bag filled with dog poo. Would you just answer the door? <laughs> May I come in? Sure, I'm just about to settle in and watch Glee. Oh, never mind then. I'd rather freeze. My, my, what do you want, my dear? It, didn't we already go Can through I this? I and warm myself, and perhaps you have something to eat? I haven't eaten anything in several days. And frankly, you're looking pretty delicious right about now. What are you, anyway? Of course I'll fix you something. And yet you're sitting down. But first, what is a pretty little girl doing out in the forest? Don't you have a home? Or were you kidnapped I by a frog a like I was? But a nasty old frog stole me away. She wanted me to marry her son. Ugh, he was terrible looking. Oh, anti-amphibio racist. Wow. Frogs are terrible looking. We moles think they are filthy creatures. Unlike God's if chosen race, the mole. Anyone, it should be a mole. I wasn't really counting on marrying anyone. I'm planning on joining the woman's golf tour, if you know what I mean. There are so many things to see that I hadn't really thought of settling down. A girl cannot decide on those things too quickly. You know, don't take advice about important life choices cool from moles. World. Just don't. And unless you have a nice man to take care of you, terrible things can happen. Look at me. I'm a f I am mole. very secure here. My husband worked, and worked, and worked. Till he died, and I got it all. I but win! I think I'm too young to get married. Besides, don't you think I should see more of the world first? Yeah, sure, get a teeny tiny year rail know, pass. my dear. When I was young, we had no thoughts of such things. When we were old enough, we got married. And went to work to be good wives. Wow, this is getting heavy. Maybe Especially considering a mole in a bonnet is anyway, talking. Anyway, you eat your dinner now, and we'll talk about it all later. Okay, keep rolling. I want every second of the mole woman getting up from the chair, now hobbling away, and there! Yes, cut! My vision is realized! Thumbelina's life with me was very happy. Life with me? So Mole Woman is the Henry Hill of this movie? I made her a nice bed by the fireplace. And together we talked of many things. I browbeat her day and night to get a damn husband or face she certain doom. For a glimpse of the blue sky and of the trees and flowers again, but was content to stay with me underground until the snow went away. At which point I gave her an eviction notice and a huge bill for back rent. I also told Thumbelina that trees, flowers, and laughter can only be enjoyed by married girls. At last summer came, and Thumbelina could again spend her time above ground. On the set of a children's theater. the beauty of Mother Nature. Tripping out on freakishly big magic mushrooms. Whoa.
Uh, yeah, I sure am enjoying his beauty and all. Whew. Yep, more, uh, oh, more beauty. I had a surprise visitor uh, who insisted on waiting until the little girl returned home. He had a subpoena from a Mr. H. Christian Anderson. Gah, demons! Oh, all right, you live here. Thumbelina, dear. I would like you to meet Mr. Digger. He lives near here. Digger? He kind of a cliche name for a mole, winter. don't you think? Now that it oh, is spring, hi. he is back again. And upon learning that you were my guest, he insisted on staying so that he could meet you. And eat you, actually. How do you do, sir? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My, my. What a beautiful child. You were right. She is exquisite. And looks delicious. Like a beam of I'll sunlight. buy her. Or so they tell me what a beam of sunlight looks like. I cannot stand the light myself. I'm quite evil, you see. I have an excellent idea, my dear. My home is not very far from here. And there is a tunnel from Mrs. Mole's backyard. So all moles seem to Why be from the Bronx. Why don't you come with me? And I will show you some very interesting things that I have collected from all over the world. I keep them in my pants. Go ahead, my dear. There is certainly nothing to fear from Mr. Digger. Despite what the he sex offender registry gentleman. says. Oh. And I have known him for a long time. He and my husband were good friends. Until they're falling out yes, over which season dear. of the X-Files ruled to harder. Fear from an old gentleman like myself. Come now. I have many interesting things to show you. Come, Tumbelina. That's Thumbelina, you old creep. <laughs> Tumbelina. Not so fast. I can't see very well in here. Yeah, they're walking through a colonoscopy. No polyps. You moles have quite good eyesight in the dark. But your stench does oh, tend yes, to overwhelm. Indeed. It is the nicest place there is, these cool, damp, dark caverns. What a beautiful way to live. And surprisingly erotic. The blue skies and the trees? I like the tree roots. <laughs> they are delicious. Some of them, that is. But I have come across a few that are bitter. That was an important point to make. No, really worth no, stopping no. what teeny little bit of story is here to make that distinction. Oh, no, that Speaking is of, of no bitter. interest to me. Wow. Besides, all those things hurt my eyes. Now let's go get some nice pastrami at the deli. All right, that does it. I officially have no idea what we're looking at, why we're here, or even who I am anymore. I, I don't know who I am either. Oh, I know who I am. I'm a shuffling pan of my mole in a poorly lit tunnel. Uh, okay, me too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. That's better. Oh, the poor creature. What happened to him? Ah, one of our many mole death cults got him. Winter. He must have gotten caught by the early snowfall on his way south. And then tried to crawl in through that hole to keep warm. Anyway, he's an ugly creature. Come with me, my dear. The ugly deserve death. We all know this. Besides, he could have applied for municipal heating assistance from the mayor's office. The mole's from New York, yep. This is what I'm saying. <gasps> wow! It's... Mediocre, at best. This is beautiful. You must have traveled in many countries to have collected so many beautiful things. Like chairs. I'd only heard about I'm chairs in songs and stories that, before. Dear. It's not often that someone as young as you notices the finer things. For instance, that chandelier. I got that it on Canal Street after a guy from Canarsie gave me a tip about a bargain as we sat over egg creams with Ed Koch, who was... Moles from New York. Rug. Got it. I can't Open emphasize it strongly enough. Oh, you can and, and have. paintings. The best of the old masters. Yes, I've spent my life collecting nice things. And now that I am older, I have only one sorrow. A sorrow? Yeah, I wish I'd have taken the IRT from Flatbush instead of the BMT. Okay, would you can it, please? Ah, but I have. 
When I was young... Oh, we're going into sub subplot mode. Remember, Santa is telling this story to the kids on the beach. Since the guy in the gorilla suit couldn't get his sled out of the sand. Nothing is real anymore. Nothing. 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 I'm lonesome. We're just going to take some time and go over here now. Thumbelina, you've never heard of Roman Polanski, have you? No? Oh, good. I wouldn't think a person like you could be lonesome. You have everything you need, and I'm sure you have many friends. I'm small man for one. Lots of friends. But most of them would disappear very quickly if they thought I had lost my money. Ah, MC Hammer syndrome. Thumbelina. When someone offers to be your friend, you know they truly mean it. Oh, you shouldn't be so serious. No, I, I wasn't. I only have one facial expression. I'm the one who's lonesome. A pretty thing like you lonesome? How could that be? I don't put out. I shouldn't really complain, because Mrs. Moore has been so good to me. But I am very lonesome. You see, I was stolen from my mother by a nasty frog. And then I ran away and hid in the forest. Yes, I know I how cliched that I sounds. My own, or any place that I could call my home. It's such a funny world. Bobby's world. <laughs> that Here Howie Mandel. Everything. And I'm unhappy. And there you are. A beautiful child with everything to look forward to. And you're unhappy. Come here, my dear. Come over here and pinch my nez. A charming young lady like you should not be forced to face this life alone. It can be very difficult. There's pervy moles I everywhere. I'm sorry for what's happened, and I wish it was within my power to make you truly happy. But alas, I do not know where your home was. My address was 1342 did, Winter's I Edge. I hear you! La 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 la! It's true. I've wandered in the woods for so long that I don't know where I am. If only that frog had left me at home. Also, I wish he hadn't gotten From me the pregnant. I met you, Thumbelina, yeah. I have been enchanted by your charm. I know now that I am nothing except a lonesome old man. Uh, Mo. But I do have everything you need. Right. I have a beautiful home and more than enough money to last you all your life. My saliva has a toxin I which can paralyze that. earthworms. But under the circumstances, I think it would be appropriate. Thumbelina, will you marry me and live here with me? Where's the ring and how big is it? Marry you? Why, Mr. Digger, you just met me today. I know, my dear, but all of a sudden I knew it was the right thing to do. Right meaning sexy. I want to protect you. I want to see that you are safe from all the things that could happen to you. Mole attacks, mostly. Please. I know this is very sudden, and you don't have to give me your answer now. Go back and talk with Mrs. Mole, and we'll discuss it again in a few days. In the meantime, I'll start Please, pounding Cialis. I know I'm not handsome or young, but you must think of your future. And I know now that I love you with all my heart. And hey, at least I'm not one of those types of moles where their nose looks like an anus. <laughs> Strongly you, in his favor. I know you've meant everything you've said sincerely, and I will think about it. Much fewer obscenities than the reaction to my marriage proposal. <laughs> Mr. Mole spent the rest of that day preparing the lotion and the basket. I didn't know it at the time, but Thumbelina felt trapped about the marriage. So her predicament she lacked its usual cheer, mm -hmm. with safe it. to say? Now, dear, Only to help I me. Know he is older man but he is very rich she's slowly he turning into a dark things, crystal character isn't and she he has much knowledge and he will be very good to you and girl don't you be signing but no prenup can't i stay here i am getting older and my store of food and things left by my husband is running out. Plus, my I nose is starting to look like an anus. Last me all of my days, but with extra mouths to feed, what am I to do? I'll just sit here in the I dark and starve, dearie. Too old. Oh dear, I didn't know I had been imposing on you. Isn't there something I could do to help? 
Of course there is. Yeah, get on the and pole and start earning some dough. Help doing the dishes and the laundry. What I am saying is for your future, for your own good. You should seriously consider Mr. Digger's offer. Most girls would be flattered. By most girls, she means oh, Anna Nicole Smith. I am flattered. Don't misunderstand me. It's just that, well, I thought love and romance were beautiful things. Wrong. Not just a practical affair. And who taught they you that, are. you miserable spinster Don't of a mother? As you get as old as I am, you realize that one has to be practical. Then you'd like me to marry Mr. Digger? Oh my God, she's dumb as she is short. No, no. Deep breath, Granny. This is your meal ticket. I think it would be the best thing for you, my child. That way, I will know you will be taken care of forever. Good night. I've got a full day of narrating this story to vacant-eyed bimbos tomorrow. That poor bird, lying in the passageway, frozen. His eyes staring up at the sky he can no longer see. It's hilarious. I should cover him up. Mr. Digger, that is, with a pillow while he sleeps. The poor piñata, full of Tootsie Pops and Jolly Ranchers going to waste. Yeah, somewhere a quinceañera is happening with nothing to beat with sticks. Poor bird. I brought the blanket to cover you so people won't stare. Yes, these halls are swarming with gawkers and paparazzi. I do believe I hear a very faint heartbeat. And feel an even fainter boner. Perhaps oh. Mr. Bird is not completely frozen. Well, triple dog dare flick to lick it, and if his tongue doesn't stick, it's not completely frozen. Maybe this blanket and my warmth We'll fire cold blood. Thumbelina possessed an astonishing ignorance about the concept of death. Not very bright. The blanket and Thumbelina's body warmth Brains. actually thawed the bird's frozen blood. It was slow, but she gradually nursed her new friend back to health. Mm -hmm. The bird, of course, was grateful. The ice cream so bunny left me to die, man. He's a freaking monster. Took her mind off her marriage to Mr. Digger and gave her hope that all the things she found beautiful in the world were not going to be lost forever. That day, exterminators fumigated the mole tunnels, killing them all. Please, Thumbelina, smile, for tomorrow will be your wedding day. This is the time a girl should be happy, not Bad. Unless they're marrying Charlie oh, Sheen. Oh, there was just someone younger. Or someone who is handsome. Who's a human being like I am. <laughs> someone who would come and take me in his arms. I would be happy to be his wife. Human being. Oh, a distant dear. third priority really for her. really gone too far now to disappoint Mr. Digger. I thought you had decided weeks ago that it was the best thing to do. Just tape your wang oh, back I here. Know it is the best thing to do. But if only Mr. Digger were just a little younger. Cheer up, honey. It could be Larry King. Why don't you go outside in the sunlight? I got a better idea. There Why don't you run? Get the hell out of there! Things like that anymore. I am sure Mr. Digger will want you to stay with him in his underground home. Where you'll be chained I'll to the floor. Up. But first I would like to see how my friend, the bird, is doing. Oh, the bird, yes. It was delicious. Oh, that silly bird. I wish he would up and fly away. <laughs> They're speaking their lines like the cast of Twilight oh, now. Oh, please. He's the only Don't friend I have who wants to enjoy the blue sky and the forest. So now she wants to date but a bird. He isn't <laughs> practical. He nearly lost his life because he was caught in the early snow. You know what? I should he go should spit have on him. He south long before he did. He said he didn't realize how late in the year it had gotten. He was so happy, flying from tree to tree and bush to bush. Occasionally from dead mole to dead mole. Sky, that it was too late by the time he started south. Oh, very well. You take some seeds to him. 
Go on, enjoy your little bird, friend, you hairless, light-loving nympho. Oh, Mr. Digger, <laughs> you're an old rascal. Red buttons, ladies and gentlemen. You'd end up with a beautiful young wife. Maybe all the hard years of work were worth it. All that cocaine I I'm dealt. I'm make her happy. We'll travel together, and I'll buy her all the pretty dresses her little heart desires. Honeymoon in my hole Maybe in Paris. Romance, but she's done the best thing for herself. Romance is for the young boys. There's nothing practical about it at all. <clears throat> Impotent. Oh, Tomalina, <clears throat> you have made me very happy. And after mm. an hour of strenuous work, he's finally satisfied with the arrangement of the flatware. <laughs> Oh, oh, man, that smell. These moles have got to get plumbing in here. Oh, my friend is gone. The only wild animal that never wanted to marry me. Oh, God, my sciatic is killing me today. Uh, uh. Oh, why the hell did they take Darvis set off the market? I'm dying. Go. Never sneak up on a mole. We're oh, heavily armed. Is the matter? My bird is gone. He has flown away. The clumsy first draft of you Norwegian see? wood. That is all the thanks you get. You nurse him back to health, and then he leaves. Even prefers That's his own species, the freak. Goodbye. I told you these birds are silly, thankless things. Now, you never said thankless. Now That's new on the table. Say. Because tomorrow is going to be your wedding day. If you need to borrow any slutty lingerie, let Her me know, dearie. Is gone. Thumbelina was very sad. By the way, the last It'll shuttle the last leaves in five she minutes. Would be above ground. The last uh -huh. time she would see the trees. Uh -huh. And the last time she would see the blue sky. And the extruded she foam. Been extremely happy to hear Mr. Bird's voice. Thumbelina! Help me out, will ya? I can't balance this damn thing. I have been trying my wings. I feel much stronger now. Whoa, whoa, look out! Whoa, Tip whoa. it over forward! Whoa, whoa! What's the matter? Tomorrow I must marry Mr. Digger, the mole. Must marry? What's he got on her anyway? I still live underground all the time. Don't oh, back spasm. Oh, I'm sorry, forest, you were saying? And the butterflies and the beautiful blue sky. Do you love him? No, I don't love him. I respect him. Okay, he's got money. I appreciate what Mrs. Mole has done for me. She is just too old to continue my support. And too young to collect fair social for her security. To have to worry on my account. Rather than marry, why don't you go away? I mean now, right now, beat it. Like you. Where? I know nothing of the world or what to do. I would be lost, and a worse fate would befall me. I might end up that on a reality true, show. Lena. Every summer I fly north, and as autumn comes, I fly south. Head to ATL I to, to get me some purple drink. They have people, people like you. My foster mother was not like me. I'm so much smaller. I know, but a mole is not even the same thing. They should have their own schools. A human being to marry. I'm sure someplace in our travels we can find one. Our travel? Yeah, yeah. Can you give me a ride? Maybe spring for bus fare. Going south. Winter is coming soon, and I don't want to be caught again. Thumbelina, you saved my life, and now I'm going to try to help you. All I ask is that you marry me. Mrs. Mole would worry. Mrs. Mole only wants you to be happy. I promise when we have found the proper place for you, I will fly back here and tell her what happened. Well, I'm not going to lie. She'll probably be dead in a month. That I didn't mean to hurt his feelings or anything, or insult him. It was just that, well... Just that he's an ugly little rat and I hate him. No offense. Of course. Now climb on and let's see. Whoa, NSFW. Mr. Digger and I were disappointed to have her leave so suddenly. But after talking it over, <laughs> oh, we realized wow. how much we had been asking of the little oh, girl. The world is so she beautiful. needed people of her own. Get it married in here. Shut your gob. Around her, she I loved. Know, Get it together. It's the kingdom of the flower children. They call it Berkeley. 
Are they young? Do they look like me? They're not fur-bearing, are they? Let's see. Uh-oh, I think a wretched film is approaching. Cue the kid. Where's the... Cue the kid! Kid, kid, no, no, cut, damn it, back to one. Uh, no, no, kid, where the hell are you? Back, back to your starting mark, sweetheart. Will somebody grab that kid? Gee. I don't see any people. Hello? Blown out speaker, can Hello, we get some narration, sir? or? Is anyone here? Who are you, and what do you want? That's also Delta Airlines' new slogan. <laughs> I am San Marino. I was also born in a flower, but then I was stolen away, and I have lost my mother. Do you have a spare? I have been searching, with the help of Mr. Bird, for some friends. I have absolutely no response. Let's get you back to your starting mark, sweetie. Welcome to the Island of Misfit Drama Club students. Hey, walk slow. We're trying to pad this thing out to 90 minutes. Well, slow down. Your Majesty, this little girl says her name is Thumbelina, and she was also born in a flower. You're finally here. But you wore that? The history books have said that someday the rightful queen of the flower children would come. Her name would be Thumbelina, and she would become my wife. All that is in your history book? Yes, and don't question it. It was also foretold that you'd make me steak every night and wear this maid costume. Prophecies! said you would be. Will you marry me and be my queen? But I don't know you. I just arrived. Can't I live here a bit till I find out if I will like it and like you? Sorry, Toots. There's nothing in the books about that. Forgive me. I've waited so long. But now stay with us a while, and I'll ask you again. I'm David Brenner. <laughs> For the first time, I feel happy. I know I will like it here. This is where I belong. Great. Want to get married? Hey, lay off! Thumbelina was with her own kind. She knew she could live with the flower children forever. Spinal Tap advised she her to listen to, to them. and become their queen. Mr. Bird saw the wedding and flew back to tell us all about it. Mr. Digger killed the bird, marinated him in his own tears, and ate him for taking his beautiful child bride away. Why are you singing like that? We immediately regret making you our queen! The history book said nothing of this! Off with her head! I did a much better job singing this song at my own wedding. Of course, I sang it in a much higher falsetto, and I had a heart. And of course, that was new. Yes, oh, we, boy, we, we remember. remember. She's wondering when she can get back to her shift salting funnel cakes at Pirate's World. <laughs> Clearly the result of floral inbreeding. No, Winnie Cooper, no, you're better than this. Every flower children community has one creepy Crispin Glover guy. It's fairy tale law. Adorably cheerless, mundane existence. Never thought I'd say this, but she should have stuck with the pervy old mole. Yeah, uh, we are done here? Sh surely we're done now. Still no? <laughs> we will stay happy ever after. Living life confined in crappy life. flowers. Leave your sacrifice in the heart. You know, one well-placed cow pie would end this entire community forever. <laughs> one. Meanwhile, Thumbelina's mother was admitted to an asylum after a breakdown caused by separation anxiety. It's the end of my story about Thumbelina. Now use the payphone to call the cops so they can shut this horrible place down. And so have I. Mr. Digger decided he wanted to marry someone. So he married me. 
Uh, wait, where are Thank you going? You for D- don't you want to hear the story about me being Mr. Digger's second choice? You never cared about me! <laughs> <laughs> and so then the PA speaker stopped telling the story, which you'll remember was told from the perspective of the mole lady, except for the parts with the flower children, which had been related to her by Mr. Bird. Now, don't forget this is all happening in Pirate's World. Where okay, we, uh... thank you, Santa. <laughs> So, did you have fun in the Thumbelina room? You know, I didn't. Did you have fun cheating on me with Cindy? (laughs) What? What are you talking about? Don't lie to my face. Not here. Not at Pirate's World. The Pirate's World breakup sketch, everyone. Ah, the world-famous Pirate's World logo. World-famous after all the court cases. Oh... Now that you know the story, oh dear you God, know he's still not dead. Nope. Never ever be discouraged. Never lose faith. You must always believe. Santa, I believe that story had nothing to do with Christmas. Also, Santa, why would a place called Pirates World feature the story of Thumbelina? Okay. There are no pirates. Santa, Santa, I have a two-part question. One, will I ever feel joy again? Uh, two, what did I do to deserve this? Come on up here, boy. He looks like a the dog planned to mark his territory on Santa's suit, only to find that several other animals had beaten him to the punch. Well, if all the other animals didn't get us out of this van, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it or not. Whoa, whoa, wait. All that Thumbelina garbage and he's still talking about animals pulling the sleigh as a strategy? No, please, move on, sir. Consider other options, I beg of you. Look, movie, you cruel bastard, you brought Kevin to the point of pleading. Have mercy. I'll pull the sleigh. I'll marry Mr. Digger. I'll do whatever you want. Get it together, man. You'll be okay. No, I really won't. Oh, look, the kids just received Amber Alert text messages from their parents regarding this Santa. Run, children! Run like the wind! Let's take a moment to remember that this man is a saint, ladies and gentlemen. The patron saint of sweating through felt, alienating everyone, and getting banned from using the computers at the public library. Oh, it is. The movie seems to be headed into an into-the-wild direction. We can hope. One more moment. Oh, God, here he goes. You have to imagine the air coming out of that coat right now has the same consistency as a heavy broccoli fart. Oh. Oh. (laughs) Kids love it when Santa strips and grunts. If Werner Herzog had invented stripograms, this is exactly what they'd be like. Uh, He's dead. The, The sun killed him. All hail the sun! Did you guys just see that, or is my brain fully melted? Eh, pretty sure it's both. Ah, sure. Well, you're gonna get some of that. <laughs> yep, yep. Sure enough, the World War II air raid siren. Good. Oh, this is all starting to make sense now. Yep. Santa, we found someone even creepier than you. Yes, that's a good dog. Kill! Kill it all! Whoops! Oh, sorry, kids. Almost lost a couple of you there. I'm such a carrot head. Deedly doop. It's me, the ice cream buddy. I've got all the flavors from sawdust to Robitussin to backwash. Oh, God, doggy, no! Look out! Oh! oh thank God. This is the kind of movie that would actually kill a dog. Hide by the shed! The ice cream bunny is here! No one is safe, man! Just another deranged, lawsuit-inspiring day at Pirate's World. (laughs) Hey, boss, should we clean up some of the bacteria-filled pools of water before we film this movie thing? As an employee of Pirate's World, you should know the answer is, of course not. To your right is a warehouse full of relish packets, kids, and to your left, the hut where the guys who run the Wild Mouse ride go to get stoned. Is this like the ring where I watch the scene and within 24 hours I'll be dead? I know, much more potent. I give us 38 seconds tops. <laughs> 
rabid creature, where are you taking us? Please, please say something. The silence is driving us to the edge of madness. Have the authorities finally tracked me down? Oh, I hear sirens, but I don't. Well, whoa, whoa, God, I didn't hit into the stroller, did I? I can't see anything. There's a fire, and yet I don't see any smoke. There's sirens. Santa, I begged you not to stop taking your medication. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in 150 plus movies, Rift Tracks has nothing to say. Justice. Enjoy. Yep. There it is. One of Pirate's World's top attractions, the old logging road. Help! Time to flee to Mexico! Ho, ho, ho. Very quickly. Can't let anybody see Santa Claus without his... My pit stains would scar them for life. Well done, quickly as we can, and uh, see what's going on. Nineteen thirties Popeye mumbled less than this yeah. lunatic. And now, uh, up a little bit. Uh, I think we're ready. Yeah, you barely uh, look homeless now. All this is about. What is that? What is that? Uh, 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 lip sync is expensive. Let's just go with this. Look, I appreciate their enthusiasm, but if Guy in a gorilla suit couldn't free Santa, what hope do they have? Uh, good shot, thanks. You've made perfectly adorable children look hideous. Yes, the uh, grim sense of doom is quite palpable, but I'm still left wondering how Huck Finn and Tom Sawyer must be reacting to these events. Yeah, just drive, Mr. Bunny. You got a lot of precious lives on that thing. Let's not get fancy. Hey, let's go on the road! <laughs> yeah, roughly. Uh, if you're about to hit a tree, we'll shout a warning, and then you can just uh, dive off the truck. The thing about an ice cream bunny, he's got lifeless eyes. Black eyes. Like a doll's eyes. Thank you, Quint. Let me just sit in this comfortable position like I normally do. Oh, God, when will the shot be over? Oh, my muscles burning now. Shoulder cramping. Are, are, are we done? Not still rolling. Oh, no, God. Let's keep that arm up. Burping, burning. Oh. Bow oh, down before me, puny humans! Cower in fear as I blot out your son! Hey, buddy, you got jumper cables? Well, Santa, we gotta get going. Hmm. I wonder what that was I just burped up into my mouth. That character looks mighty, mighty. If you happen to spend a lot of time at Pirate's World. Would it be the ice cream bunny? Of course. Of course. Of course? <laughs> Thank you, children. It's good to see you again. Well, my old friend, the ice cream. Man, we saw some crazy <laughs> stuff in Nam, didn't we? Help me out of my prediction. I'm not winking. My other eye is just jammed and up with sand. All the children will be. So happy, and you will. Help <laughs> <us>. <laughs> and you rebel, you it is a thing of evil. We animals can sense such things. Were you the one that brought the ice cream bunny to help me out of my predicament? Oh, Santa's a well, close talker. Old friend, I'm surely glad that you've come to help. There's so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go a little more subtle, kids. They can see you nodding in Cuba. Now, what are we going to do, I wonder? Think we'll all be able to help? Why, of course, of course. Let me just consult my pink, inaccurate, homemade calendar. 
four days left. Evil! Evil! It must be destroyed with the daggers of Megiddo! Do you think that we'll be able to make it on time? Are you kidding me? There's no. There's <laughs> so much to do no. and so little time to do it in. But of course, the old friend, someone just pop you open a can of nitrous. <laughs> we will make it, won't we? Of course, we will. And all the children all over the world will get their Christmas gifts. What the hell is this? Is this a stump or? <laughs> Don't laugh, I got him caught in a trash compactor. <laughs> well, it's time to go. We've established that uh, we will try to make it, won't we? So children, ah, that old familiar Santa line. We've established that uh, we will try to make it, won't we? Classic. Look, I was also kidnapped by a cosmetics company, and they did unspeakable things to me, okay? They dropped an anvil on my feet, okay? Goodbye! Holy crap, goodbye! (laughs) Have fun getting home, suckers! Yeah, that's right, Santa just pwned you like a pack of noobs! Santa, please, I need my insulin. <laughs> Goodbye, children. Remember, you have to keep faith and you have to believe in everything will turn out to be just fine. We're not fine. We're Goodbye. stranded outside Pirate's World where all the drifters hang out. Remember, <laughs> Isn't that just like Santa to bid us farewell with a hearty string of insane, incoherent ramblings? We came through time, space, and the boundaries of fiction to see that? Santa, please tell my mom I'm sorry I can't make Grandpa's funeral. Santa, I left a bag of beef jerky on the fire truck that we can survive on till help comes. Please throw it to- So long, children. Everything will turn out fine. Oh, ho, oh, ho, oh. ho. Oh. All right, we'll break the sleigh into kindling. Susie, you kill and caught a feral pig. Yes, they all want to see the sleigh, but only from the one particular side. Like that, you... Or crap. When Santa arrived back at the North Pole, they're waiting for him. Have a deeply disturbing Christmas, everyone. It's time for Real Tracks. Copyright by Riff Tracks. All rights reserved.